Take a look at this, some very interesting stuff. These awesome boats. It's the, it's the water the water festival starting I think today. Sorry, let's get a, another view. It's huge, look at it. It's so they have a they have a race here I believe with all of the teams. Very nice. Great. Awesome boat. Wow. So that's happening in Siem Reap right now. <clears throat> so tons of food stalls. Uh, all kinds of stores set up all over the place. It's a, it's a bit early, so it gets going a little bit later, around three or four in the afternoon, and the place becomes packed. I'm not quite sure when when the races are on, or time and so on, but we will find out. Look at this beautiful, beautiful view. So right, we can see. Some people are gathering, mostly kids and families, school kids, I guess, on school break. Well, yeah, it looks very nice. Hello, how are you? You good? I don't know what she's selling, but she's selling something. Hello, how are you doing? Good? Yeah. <laughs> what do you sell? Oh, bread and something. What? Uh, ice cream, okay. Yeah. Thank you. So it's ice cream, I see. Of course, I don't eat ice cream. It's unhealthy, it's sugar, nothing but sugar. So I had an interesting conversation. Well, not conversation, I had a, there's a poster about someone selling bread in Camp Butt. I've seen it on the street before. All these lovely elephants. Beautiful along the, the riverside here. Yeah, bread, my whole, my super healthy, wholesome bread and blah, 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 right? So I just commented back saying, look, I know bread tastes good and it, lo it looks lovely, but it's not healthy. It makes you fat. It's full of sugar, it's not even sugar. Then some person wrote back to me, oh, we, your hyperbolic comment, rubbish, blah, blah, blah. So you can't bake anything 90% sugar. He didn't understand what I was saying. The problem is they use wheat, milled, milled wheat, okay. flour, white flour, brown flour, same, same, grain flour, doesn't matter. It's all the same shit. It's carbohydrates, 100, like 90% of it's carbohydrate. There's no nutritional value whatsoever. The, the milling processing, the, the processing process kills all the nutrients, the flour, or any nutrients at all. People are not supposed to be eating grains anyway. And then uh, you, when you eat it, your body digests it, and it turns into glucose in your bloodstream, the whole lot. There's no protein in there, there's no fat. And they add sugar to the mix as well. So in the end, once you've consumed it, it turns to literally 90, 95% sugar, right? And that's the thing, the point I was trying to make. But the guys, of course, these idiots don't get it. So uh, anyway, right? enough of that. Enough of that. So this is obviously, must be where the starting line is, to go in Red Cross. So the starting line is here. And it must go, I'm guessing, down. I'm not sure. Right, so you've got another, another cool looking boat here. Oh, they're big, they're big, aren't they? Oh my God, look how big. Hello. Look how long these rowing boats are. And the colors. Wow, this is about 15. How many meter? 20? Yeah, how long? 20, 20 meter? <laughs> how long is the how long is the boat? Twenty seven meter? Wow, how many how many people? How many people inside? Oh, cool. Thank you. Wow, it's a twenty seven meter long rowing boat. And they have 23 people rowing it. it. These little things, you know, it doesn't look very comfortable. And it's, it's very old school, of course, but that's nice. This is the way it should be. It could be very cool. Got to find out when this race starts. I want to I see it, for sure. And they're setting up the food stalls. Which start around, well, just lunchtime-ish. 
the other side you can see the, the, the tents everywhere they're selling any anything under the sun toys clothing food whatever it's cool right, so this is another little tip for everybody here this is um, outside the cp fresh mart okay remember that name cp fresh it's just up the road from the main roundabout in cm reef about five no, three to two meters and it's the best shop you can buy your meat at from whatever so now i'm going to buy eggs i'll show you quickly because it's really important it's cheap i mean really cheap a kilogram of minced beef cost you two dollars hello and now i'm going to have to show you the they've got all kinds of things in it, a bit like a supermarket bit. but the main the only reason i come here is to buy the meat and eggs i'll show you why in a minute about the eggs okay that's quite phenomenal so they got everything in here Ugh, i don't know what that is but octopus i guess they've got all types of chicken feet and you know, liver not my thing you see chicken breast chicken chuff chicken blood chicken liver chicken heart drumstick etc etc everything there fresh daily whole chickens pretty amazing right whole chickens chicken breast i bought the chicken breast two, two days ago had it's awesome and then here you've got your beef pork so we got pork belly fat pork ribs pork bone pork head wow pork lung pork organs pork tenderloin broiled chicken and then we've got the minced pork here which is fantastic too high fat great quality so again you can see a kilogram of you know the intestines like organs and so on are, are really healthy but i don't like them so i don't eat them um so a kilogram of pork tenderloin 14,000 beer that's three dollars okay that's three dollars for a kilogram of tenderloin so you can have four 250 gram steaks for three dollars that's under one dollar per steak think about that and, and, uh, it doesn't say that i can't see the price here for the Anyway, the, 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 mince, the minced beef, I believe I paid for half a kilo, I believe I paid $1.50. And I can make two to three meals with that because I mix it up with eggs. All right, let's just go and have a look at the eggs. So they've got all these crappy sauces. One thing that they didn't have, which is unfortunate and not good, is the processed sausages. So you can see, I would strongly advise you not to buy those because they are not healthy. Processed sausages are full of junk, sugar, and some sort of chemicals too. Uh, anyway, so I just got by the meat and now I'm gonna show you something really incredible because I'm gonna buy this now. Okay, so let's have a look. So we got, over here we've got the eggs. So this is 10,500 real, right? And there's 30 eggs, 30? How much is that in dollar? 10,000, it's about, huh? No, 10,500 is less. Anyway, so this one, right? Are you fresh? Good? Good quality? Yeah. Hold this, hold this, hold this for me. I'm gonna show my eggs. 30 eggs for. 2.63? Yeah. 2.63 dollars for 30 eggs. That is, hang on, let me see. 2.63 Two, 2 divided by 30 is, wow, 0.8 cents per egg. That's pretty good. Thank you. All right, so this is where you come. They've got coffee and tea as well. I'm making a YouTube video. Promoting you, they always come here. CP in Campo, CP in Pompeii, and CP here. I can also order on Telegram, right? So I'll do that next time so they can deliver it. But I don't mind coming, it's fine. All right, see you later. Thanks in the Ready, ready. So back home now from my little trip into the village, in the town, Tim Reap, and voila. There it is, my lunch, my first meal of the day. Only meal of the day, Omad. One meal a day is pretty much what I eat. So that's uh, minced pork with a high level of fat, fried with uh, onion, garlic, red hot chilies, 
lots of salt and pepper, paprika, and two or so three nice big yellow juicy eggs that I bought 30 of, a packet, a craze of 30 for $2.60, my friends. Yeah, so that's the huge advantage of living in Southeast Asia, Cambodia in particular, because it's definitely cheaper than Thailand and Indonesia, Bali, for example, and so on. All right then, have a great one, and we will see you in the next video, which I'll be doing tomorrow. Well, one more thing I want to add. Why do I eat only once a day or try, mostly? Why do I, so I do fast, I fast every single day, intermittent fasting. Now, I used to do the 18 hour fast, six hour eating window. So eat at one and eat at seven or around those times and then don't eat until the next day. I want to talk to the dog again. But now I've got to the point where I just wanted to try the OMAD version 24 hours a day. So 20, well, whatever, eat at maybe now it's 1.30, so 1.30 have a big hefty meal full of uh, protein and fat and then not eat again until the next day. I just drink tons of water and because this meal is so satiating, it fills you. I don't need to eat again. I won't be hungry tonight. So that's fine. And then I fast longer and that longer fasting period and process helps the body regenerate to become healthier. You rebuild healthier fat uh, cells. You also detox. You detoxify your body by not eating. You've got to stop shoving food in your mouth all day long because that does not let the body rest and detoxify and repair itself within. It's very, very important. And that's the problem with most people, 80, 80, 85% of the people worldwide, maybe 90%, 95% are unhealthy. This is a fact, factual matter, statistic. Unhealthy people, because they're eating too many, well, 80%, 90% carbohydrates, like bread, rice, pasta, sugar stuff, cakes, you name it, everything that's made from grains, flour, and then there's sugar added. So, and they don't eat enough, anywhere near enough uh, protein. We are meant to eat protein and fat. That is how we are created as human beings. The proper diet for humans is the keto carnivore diet. And that's what I do here easily in, in Siem Reap in Cambodia, everywhere I go, because I can find good quality cheap meat everywhere and again I remind you CP fresh market is the place to go in Siem Reap for good high quality fresh meat that's cheap alrighty see you soon thanks for watching Rob's Health Crunch don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel there is more great content on the way from me about Cambodia health fitness wellness real healthy food and great lifestyle habits don't forget to enable notifications so you'll know when the latest video is posted. Until then, here's some other great content I think you will enjoy.